Well, hundreds of unarmed National Guard troops will deploy to the nation's capital ahead of President Biden's State of the Union address next week. This as security officials prepare for a potential blockade of the U.S. Capitol area by truckers and a protest. Washington correspondent Jesse Tudor gives us a preview. As many as a thousand trucks began their drive from California to D.C. Wednesday to protest pandemic restrictions like mask mandates and vaccine requirements. The convoy follows a similar trucker's protest in Canada that shut down parts of its capital city. But unlike those demonstrations, this group, called the People's Convoy, plans to stay off the D.C. thoroughfares. Blocking roadways and um, things like that is, is unlawful. Still, federal and local law enforcement agencies say they will be ready for traffic control. That's their goal. That's their mission. Spokesperson John Kirby confirms the Pentagon has approved the deployment of 700 unarmed National Guard troops ahead of President Biden's State of the Union address at the U.S. Capitol next week. The People's Convoy is not expected to arrive until after, but others could come before. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she's confident in Capitol security. They have a good handle on what the expectation is. One precaution, Capitol Police plan to reinstall the seven-foot fence that surrounded the complex for months after January 6th. People said, oh, don't let them put up a fence. That's not my call. That's a security call. D.C. officials plan to issue traffic guidance to residents closer to the president's address. The governors of Maryland and Virginia say they're also monitoring the situation. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor.